Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and today we are back in Minecraft PSO Survival. So in the last episode we have finished the animal farm and we also have started the villager farm and I'm not going to say that the the, repro uh, the reproduction is amazing. Look at this. This is how many villagers we have now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 kids, 4 adults. That is nuts. That's how many villagers we have got. And we have a bit of problem here. You see the animal farm, there's too many sheep, there's too many cows, and it's overloading. And they, they are just yeah, yeah, they are just like outside of here. And I'm not willing to kill them, but they were going to uh, solve this issue and also start on our villager trading call. So how is this going to work? Is basically we're going to transport all the sheep over here. Uh, break this uh, wall over here so the sheep have two sides and then the cow uh, will also go into the sheep here and then this wall is going to break. You will see why in later in today's episode. But if you do enjoy it, subscribe to my channel. Only a small percentage of you guys are subscribing. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like that extremely awesome. Click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out any new videos. So let's get started with solving the animal farm problem. So first off, I am trying to get some wheat so I can actually uh, take all the animals together But then I found out that if I move them like this, all the animals are just going to go everywhere So I have to actually uh, lead some of the animals to some private areas Then later put back into their actual gate or pens they are in And it's a pretty hard process Oh my god! They are so stupid. I guess I have to change another plan because those three cows are always want to come back to here. So what if, what if? So you can see that um, half of the sheep, uh, most of the sheep are already in here, and I'm thinking we extend this for the pigs, and then we have room for the cows in over here. So it's not going to be like uh, that crowd and moving anymore. So yeah, change my plans. Let's continue getting this on. Now for this part is pretty easy. Just have to get some wheat and let them to come to that actual gate and breaking some walls. And then I come up with a pretty smart method, which is transport the animals by water, as you can see right now. And it's a pretty efficient way. And yeah, I just kill some animals because they are escaping. And then after that, I just uh, continue doing the pigs as well. It's pretty easy. Okay, I guess we are done here. Phew, after a few couple 10 minutes, and this is also now uh, all the pigs and I sheep and cows, they have all double size of lens. So yeah, this is great. We have finished this and it's time to actually breed them, but I don't think so. I hope this is like, actually a uh, easy difficulty so we can actually kill a lot of cows and get food but it's fine it's peaceful it's fine so yeah for now we're going to start working on the villagers so as you all know if you don't know uh villagers they only have seven slots of inventory so i already given them uh beetroot uh carrot potato and also wheat and that's already costing four uh, slots of inventory i didn't actually think of that before but now i think of it i think we should actually start are populating more of those villagers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine villagers. Okay, more bets, more dead, more bets. So now we are going to onto our next part. So we're going to actually uh, start building the villager trading hall. You can see that uh, there's a lot of villagers right now are like mating together and then like getting babies out of the way. But other than that, uh, we know that villagers only have seven slots. So let's give all the carrots to them to just like get them to get babies out here. Now the first part of this is to actually get a brewing stand and some other stuff from the village. So I have to go through the nether portal and then go through the highway to the village. And it's a pretty good process. Nothing went wrong in this process other than me stalking in the nether portal. And yeah, I do some uh, investigating in spectator mode. And now we are back into business to build a temporary area for the villagers to stay. And this went very well. I just used a water system to transport the villagers from A point to B point. Okay, so now guys, I have removed it. this part of the land, which is the old one for the villager to stay. And the new one is currently here. They are in there very happy. 
and I also got some of the green stand, the bell, and a stone cutter in case I don't have a currently job right now. So now let's actually crack on with this uh, villager trailing hall. So it's going to be first wall, and mostly it's going to build off of acacia wood. So yeah, this entire farm is uh, no, this entire trailing hall is based on acacia. So how are we going to build it? Well, oh, there's some cats here. That's great. Uh, we can have a cat farm soon. So it's going to be right next to the sugar king farm, about a few blocks away, and then we can start uh, working on the design. So we can have like uh, this here, and then we can have the villager in one by one, like this. Yeah, by the way guys, I haven't actually planned the design yet, I just straight just build it out. And which is not very good when you don't really have a design, anything to, could go very wrong. So what are we, oh my goodness, that is why I'm in creative mode so I can actually fly up. So we can get the villager into here and they will have a job here. So this is actually going to break, I'm going to break this block, they're going to have a job over here. And then after that, they were going to lock inside a door somehow. Honestly, I have to say that, that I have no experience with villager trading core or even with villagers. So the clip that you're going to see on the next clip, which is all first reaction and other stuff. Yeah, first reaction and getting confused why the villagers are not uh, getting their drops in. Haven't investigated too much with them, so I think I have to do some research on the internet to find out how villagers work. Alright, there we go guys, now we have a villager inside this whole block by a uh, netherrack and now he is uh, oh, why? Change, change it! Why you're still uh, what? I, I don't understand, I don't understand. Just change it into, oh my goodness, he escaped. This is so hard, but guys, uh, that's all the time I have for today. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you do enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like or stream me awesome, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out any new videos. Bye guys!